Hey, what's up, guys? Ender Extremist here from EnderExtremist.com right now with Galaxy, not Galaxy, but Google Nexus 4. And we're going to root and install custom recovery on this bad boy. So let's go ahead and get to the process. We're going to use our Windows 7 PC in order to do this. And we're going to use a toolkit which was built by Workfress. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. But let's go ahead and get to our phone. Go ahead and pull down the notification bar and go to the setting. Go all the way down. And there's something you will see here that you probably won't have unless you probably rooted before. This is the developer's options. In order to get that, you're going to go to your build number about phone and keep pressing it, like press it seven times. And it will say, now you're the developer. For me, it says you're already developer. So I can put that in my resume because according to Google, I'm developer. Now go ahead and select that and press OK. That's USB debugging. Once you have selected that, go ahead and press home button and put the phone aside. We're going to go to our PC and start our process. Now this is what you should have. The link to this file is below the like button under the description. Go ahead and double click it. Go ahead and run. This is what you will see. Make sure it's in your C program files. And do not change this command or anything just press install press yes and this will start installing this recovery now cleaning up legacy toolkit files so it's gonna do whatever it needs to do in order to get us the best result now here you will select your device I have LG E960 that's what I'm gonna select because that's the Nexus 4 and uh, he's asking you to select the build number now as you can see 4.2.0 4.2.1 4.2.2 that's the latest version that i have jdq39 i'm gonna press that and press apply now it's gonna ask you to enable usb debugging and all that and how you can do that it's step by step reaching right here so already done this so we don't have to do it so i'm gonna just press ok and open up this toolkit now you're current you currently have no modified boot image means we don't have any kernel that that is modified so it's gonna go ahead and download it so press ok which will start downloading this kernel cannot drag the menu but it's right there as you can see Now it's downloading stuff so I'm gonna be back once it finishes downloading hey guys so once it finishes downloading it will give you this another option and uh, toolkit would like to download the open recovery TWRP so go ahead and press ok again it will start downloading another file right there and it doesn't take that long but it does depend on your internet speed I do have 24 or 20 and up megabytes per second download. So f for that reason, for me, it took a couple of seconds. As you can see right here, it's already going fast. So again, we'll be back once it's down done downloading. Hey guys, as you can see, it's about to be done. Now it's done. So once it matches whatever it needed to download, it's gonna give us the toolkit itself so this is what we're going to use in order to root our phone now we can use this toolkit same way to root uh, many Nexus devices that it supports so first of all we're going to go ahead and press the full driver installation and here we go it's gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to install these drivers now we're going to go ahead and press number two and uh, install the PDA drivers. Go ahead and press OK. Now here it will give you step by step and what you need to do. 
an existing Android USB driver is found on your computer, you can reinstall it if you had problem. So mine is already installed, but I'm still gonna go through it. Press yes and please disconnect your phone. So we never connected it, and if you have connected, make sure you disconnect and uh, select the other press ok now it's gonna start installing now press install I'm just gonna follow his guide right here as I said before this will open up so for me I don't have to think more and the third window is when it pops up we're going to press ok so here we go press ok press ok oh we gotta place the phone to now connect the phone so oops make sure you go ahead and connect the phone so it will detect your phone and make sure the drivers are working now drivers are working we're going to press don't do not install we that's what we're going to press as it says here we're gonna pause that out press ok on this one ok now it will start uninstalling PDA net the last step we will do is to after it finishes uninstalling we are going to have to turn on the usb debugging we already done that so go ahead and cross that out and we can cross this one out because we've already installed the whole driver installation we finished that now in order to root your phone we are going to unlock the bootloader now keep in mind this will avoid your warranty and this will wipe your phone fully so if you need to there is an option right here if you can see to back up everything go ahead and do it do it manually if you need to I really don't because there is nothing that I have useful on this phone so I'm not gonna do that make sure you back up again I'm saying make sure you back up because this will factory reset your phone and everything will be gone because we need to unlock the bootloader and as I said before this will void your warranty because we are unlocking the bootloader now keep in mind the warranty will be voided until you lock the bootloader back up once you lock it you get your warranty back that's how it works this is not HTC and we are lucky to have this kind of manufacturers who really don't press us to void our warranty so go ahead and press unlock now here it will give you another guide on what to do and what not so press ok and again press ok and now checking the adb status device connected as we already connected our phone and rebooting our device into the bootloader mode so we are waiting for our device to boot into bootloader mode now i already have unlocked my bootloader I'm still going to show you what to do in order to do this. Well, since my was already unlocked, it skipped that uh, process. I'm just going to go ahead and press OK right here. But it will give you that pop up menu once your phone will boot into the bootloader mode. And go ahead and use volume rocker to go up and down and press power button to select. And with that, unlock your bootloader. I'm really sorry, I will have step by step instruction on to my blog with pictures on how to unlock the bootloader. But once this is done, go ahead and press your phone, press, place your phone down, not press. I don't know how what I'm talking about, but then we're going to press root with custom recovery because I really need custom recovery I don't know about you but I'll be flashing ROMs I'll be going crazy so go ahead and press root and here it will tell you all about what it's doing and all that I'm just gonna press ok 
Now again, it's checking for ADB status. Now device connected, rebooting your device into bootloader mode. I'm just having my device in next to the computer so you know what's going on on your device too. Now checking fastboot status. So this will go through different command and uh, make sure it finishes rooting your phone. So it already applied modified kernel. Boot image is a kernel. So it already applied that, which will be helpful to read this phone, root this phone. Now waiting for your device to finish booting up. So it booted back up. Go ahead and X out the pop-up thingy. Now device is fully booted back up. I don't know why I'm reading that commands. It's kind of interesting. Now it's pushing the root files like super su and uh the TWRP recovery probably. Again, it will boot your phone into the bootloader mode, as you probably see in the screen. And I'm sorry, I cannot get both of them focused at the same time. So this is what you're gonna have to do. It's the best I. Now it says booting TWRP or temporarily. And uh, it booted up TWRP to install the Super SU again. And uh, it's rooting our phone as it says in information pop up box right there. And once the phone boots up, I think it will be the final step. So, as you can see, Android is already upgrading because we just got the Super SU. We are still waiting for this toolkit to finish its process. And that's it. You are done. Your phone is rooted. You can go ahead and start installing different ROMs and custom recoveries and whatever you like. We're going to go ahead and go to BusyBox and wait a couple of seconds until it opens and there it is we just gave it super su permission i don't need to install busy box, busy box as of now but we just gave it super su permission so now we have custom recovery we got the root and next video is going to be how to unroot, how to lock the bootloader. I might have a couple of ROM reviews before. And uh, if you are watching these videos and you like what I do, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. As always, guys, thank you for watching. And uh, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.